All right, Shalom. It's the brother Malak coming back at you with this truth. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Call Haloyim, La Abanawa, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakal Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and blessings and salutation to the hopeful elect, the Bayath, Dawada, the house of David. Now I have something interesting for you brothers to check out. Uh, I ran into a, a little timeline all right, about the Bible and uh, to prove uh, that the Bible is, is uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans book. This is our Bible, man. All right, it was recorded by our people. Okay? Okay? The timeline, the records, everything of that nature, man. History written in the Bible. Okay, this Bible is not a fairy tale book, man. See, what our people think that this Bible is a fairy tale book. Well, I'm here to uh, tell you that you're sadly mistaken. All right, this isn't a fairy tale book. This Bible is consisted of prophecy, history, heritage, all right, so on and so forth, man. Okay, and I'm going to show you, all right, something real. I'm going to show you something on this timeline here. All right, so this is. Uh, now this is going in there. This is called the Bible Journey. Uh, welcome to the uh, Welcome to the Bible Journey. A great way to explore the Bible. Now I've started in the second part here. The first part goes all the way back to the beginning of time, from Adam and Eve, Cain, Abel, all right, and things and things of that nature. The flood, Abraham, Noah. All right, Noah, which was the flood, Abraham. Okay, things of that nature, man. All right, it goes way back. But I want to start right here from the kingdom of Israel to the exile. All right. So this is the United Kingdom of Israel and Judah. The United Kingdom lasted a brief 80 years under the rule of Saul, David, and Solomon from century 10, all right, uh, 1012 to C931 BC. All right, for which they put the BC meaning before uh Christ, which I don't like to say, is really Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's what it really is. It's really Yahweh Shai. All right. It says for 18 of these years, however, the kingdom was uh, anything but united. The kingdom was uh, permanently divided into two at the death of Solomon. That's right. Rehoboam and Jeroboam. Uh, Rehoboam being Solomon's son. All right. The, the kingdom was rent in half. Okay, the northern kingdom. In the southern kingdom, right, which we have to, which we know us today, which the southern kingdom is Judah, the northern kingdom is Israel, all right, which it reads down here, all right, the northern kingdom of Israel. Now the northern kingdom went into captivity, uh, in the Assyrian captivity, okay, and the southern kingdom went into the Babylonian captivity, okay, which was by Nebuchadnezzar. Just a little rundown history on that, all right? And it's going to speak on it as we go down. It says the northern kingdom of Israel, which is the capital initially at, at Shikram and the Taz and Tazar and Taza, uh, and finally at Samaria, existed for 209 years until it was overthrown by the Assyrians in 722 BC. The southern kingdom of Judah was in the capital with its capital at Jerusalem lasted a further 135 years before the Babylonian conquest in 587 BC. Now, Nebuchadnezzar's father, Nebo, uh, Nebo Palaser, okay, because that's Nebuchadnezzar's father, he took over, uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar took over after his father had died. Okay, so now let's just read on. It says, uh, the exiles begin uh, began returning from Babylonia 50 years later in 537 BC, but restored the walls of Jerusalem. Uh, the walls of Jerusalem were not completed until 445 BC. Right, because when you go into the book of Nehemiah, uh, Artaxerxes, okay, you can read about that as well. All right, which the decree came from Cyrus the Great. Okay, you can read about that. All the way up to Darius, the king. Okay. 
All right, so let's go down here. It says the United Kingdom of Israel, Israel and Judah, and one oh and in ten twelve BC to nine thirty one BC. Now it says from ten twelve to from ten twelve to ten eleven BC, Saul becomes king of the United Kingdom of Israel of Israel and Judah. That's correct. All right, in ten to in ten eleven uh, C ten o four BC. Uh, Ish Ishboth becomes the king of Israel, and David becomes the king of Judah. All right. So in 1004, this is just straight history. 1004, all right, BC from 971 BC, David becomes king of the, king of the reunited kingdom. Right. That's correct. It says in 935 BC to 984 BC, Absalom becomes king of Israel. David rules in exile. David rules in exile at, at Manahem, all right? 984 BC to 971 BC, David defeats Absalom and returns to Jerusalem. All right, 971 BC to 931 BC, Solomon reigns as king of Israel, right? Because David had died, okay? David had died, so he was the next one to come up and uh, rulership okay and it says many of the psalms the books of the book of proverbs the song of song a uh, song of songs and and the book of ecclesiastes are written around this time right and they and the book of psalms was written by uh david a lot of the psalms are written by david proverbs is written by solomon song of solomon all right songs of songs with the songs of solomon all right, and Ecclesiastes is written by uh, Solomon as well. Okay, so then now you go on down here. From 1012 BC, Saul defeats the Amorites at Bezek. At Bez, at Bezek. All right, 1012 BC, Saul beats the Philistines at Gabal, at Gabif. And 1012 BC, Saul defeats the, Am the Amalekites at Havilah. And 1012 BC, David kills Philistines champion Goliath. All right, of Goth. All right, 1011 BC, Saul is killed by the Philistines at the Battle of Gal of Gabal of Gilboa of Gilboa. Right, so yeah, that's this is all correct. Okay, that's right. Saul did fall on his sword. All right, and the Philistines chopped off his head. When you go and read that story. All right, it says 1011 BC. Uh, Ish Ishbol Ish Ishboshith, Saul's son, becomes king of Israel. <laughs> All right, in 1011 BC, David becomes king of Judah at Harab, at he at Hirab, at Hirab, Hirun. 1004 BC, uh, Ish uh, Ishbol Ishboshith is murdered, and David becomes king of Israel and Judah. All right, 1004 BC, David captures Jerusalem. Right. Okay. It says 1004, David uh, defeats the Philistines. Philistines at Baal, at Baal Pazarim. All right. 1004 BC, David brings the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem. And 99 and 999 BC, David has an affair with Bathsheba. And defeats the Amorites, right? Because that time, David had the affair with with Bathsheba, right? And his son, well, uh, his son that his firstborn son that he had was uh, was ultimately put to death. All right, that's when he committed adultery. That's when he committed adultery. Okay, it says nine ninety eight B.C. David defeats the armor the the Armenes the Armen the Ar the yeah, the Armenians at Halam. All right, 995 BC, David's son Absalom rides in uh, revolt and claims the throne. All right, 984 BC, David defeats Absalom at the Battle of, of Ephraim. 982 BC, David purchased the land of on which the temple is later built. Right, because who built the temple up? Solomon. Okay. 
Okay. It says, uh, it says 970. 972 BC of the Ahijah A. Danhijah the, uh, David's eldest surviving son claims the throne but it doesn't go to him okay it doesn't go to his uh, eldest son it goes to Solomon alright 971 BC David dies and his son Solomon becomes king of Israel 968 BC Solomon builds Solomon begins to build a temple in Jerusalem. 961 BC, Solomon finishes finishes building uh, building the temple. All right. 948 BC, Solomon finished building his place in Jerusalem. 947 BC, Solomon's ship set out for Ophir. 946 BC, Solomon's Egyptian queen dies. Okay. 945 BC, the queen of Sheba visits Solomon in Jerusalem. 939 BC. Uh, uh, Ramesses, uh, Ramesses, Ramesses the second of Egypt fights the Hittites at the Battle of Kadesh. All right, 938 BC, King King Rizon of, Dam of Damascus rebels against Solomon. 931 BC, Solomon dies and is succeeded by his son Rehoboam. Right, so that's what talking about what goes into the uh, the split. Okay, Rehoboam. Rehoboam, like I said, Rehoboam was the son of Solomon. All right, in 931 BC, Israel rebels against Rehoboam, and Jeroboam becomes king of Israel. Okay. It says, uh, Rehoboam continues to rule as king of Judah. All right. Now, the, now the, the, the divided kingdom from 931 BC to 722 BC, the kingdom of Judah. All right, the kingdom of Israel, which is uh, 931 to 914 BC, Rehoboam, Jeroboam uh, I, right, 931 to 911 BC, Elijah and Nabad, and Nad, and Nadab, and Nadab, all right, from 911 to 910 BC, all right, uh, Asha and Ba, and Baasha, from 910 to 8 to 887 BC and Elah uh, from 887 to 886 uh Zem Zemri uh, Zimra all right 886 BC all right and then it goes on to uh Tabna 886 to 883 all right, and then Om and then Omrah, eight eighty six to eight eighty seven, and all right, all right. What is it? Jehoshaphat, uh, eight eighty seven to eight forty nine BC, eight eighty seven to. To 880 to 852 BC, Ahab and Azariah, 8, 8, 855 to 853 BC, Azariah and Jer and, and Jerum, all right, from 853 to 842, Jorim, okay, Azariah says 842 BC, 842, 842 to 835 BC. When you read all this, is Joash. All right, Joash, 835 to 790, 795 BC, and then 813 to 797 BC, which is uh, Joahaz. All right, and it goes on to read, as you can see, all of these going into it. All right, so yeah, this is this is all the all the history, man. Look look at all this history, man. This is all written in the Bible, man. All of it. All of this is written in the Bible. Okay. As I'm scrolling down, you see the dates. You see everything, man. You see what what was around, what, what was going on. Okay. And I just figured I'd bring all this out. And look at this. Amos and Hosea 
denounced social injustice in Israel between 760 BC to 725 BC. You see that? All right. This is all history, man. Okay. And I have this, and I know who this guy, King Tak King uh, Pas uh, what Palisar, Palisar of Israel invades uh, of Assyria invades Israel and captures Galilee, and I and I know all about that. I got that. I got a lot of that history. I'm going to Bible and going to that history. It's not going to say his name. You'll see his name in there, but I got the ancient the Bible. Uh, I mean, the book that I have is the history of the ancient world from the earliest accounts to the fall of Rome. Now I have that written in the Bible too as well, where I can go and get all of that. All right, the Israelites from Galilee and Naphtali are deported to uh, Syria. All right, all of this, all of this history, I can go and get. Okay, it says the, uh, the defeated Israelites are led into into exile in Assyria. All right, so this is going into the kingdom, the kingdom of Judah. Right, Hezekiah, Manasseh. Manasseh was wicked. That was Hezekiah's uh, son. All right. Okay. Ammon, Joash, Joachim, Jokathim. All right, Joachim, Jokathim. Okay, Zedekiah. Zedekiah was uh, uh, wicked as hell. Zedekiah was a, a wicked king. He was a rebellious king. All right, he didn't want to listen to what the Lord had to tell him. That's why Nebuchadnezzar came up against him. First starting off with his with his grandson. Actually, no, with his with his nephew. Okay, that was his nephew at the top. And Zedekiah was the uncle. Okay? And that's when he was set up when he got carried away when when Jokachin got carried away. When Joe Hall Athachin uh Achen got carried away in the captivity. Alright, and then Zo and then Zedekiah got carried away in the captivity. He got his eyes poked out, and then his two sons were killed in front of him. That's what the scriptures, you know, said right there. And then you read all the rest of this. Look at all the rest of this history, man. Okay? Look at all the rest of this history. Came uh, King Ammon, uh, Ammon, was assassinated by the royal officials. Right, because he was, he was, he didn't last long when he became king. Okay, but King Joe, but King Joas, uh, uh, Joas, all right, he was he was a righteous king, he was a righteous king. Okay, he destroys all the pagan altars, and everything like that. King Ammon was had these pagan altars set up. Manasseh had these pagan uh, altars set up. Okay, all these things of that nature, man, they were wicked. But King jo but King Josiah, all right, a uh, Joas, uh, Josiah, I think this is right there, right. It says destroys the pagan altars and celebrates the Passover, right? So he was doing things in the sight, righteous in the sight of the eyes of the Most High. All right, the Babylonians conquered Nineveh, right? The capital of Assyria. And Nahum celebrates the destruction of Nineveh by the Babylonians in 612 BC. Jeremiah and Zephaniah warned the people of Jerusalem prior to the, prior its fall in 587 BC. That was during the time of, uh, 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 let's go up. During the time of King Zedekiah. All right. Jeremiah was around that time. All right. Jeremiah. Isaiah. Right. Because Isaiah's father was Amos. All right. Zephaniah. Okay. Habakkuk asked why the Most High apparently allows the cruel Babylonians to succeed. Okay. Look at all this history. Right. You see. Going down here, Pharaoh Nico, uh, Nico of Egypt uh, defeats King Joas at, at Madigo. Okay. Disposes Joas' son in Joas and installs Joachim as the king of Judah. Neil is defeated by Nebuchadnezzar at the Babylon at the Babylon at, Kam at Karkamesh. All right. And then in 605 BC, which right his father... Nebo Palasas, uh, Nebo Palasa was Nebuchadnezzar's father, who died around that time in 605 BC, and then Nebuchadnezzar came up, invades Judah and joked them, and becomes a vessel, a vessel king, a vassal king. Uh, Nebo retakes Gaza, and called and uh, Jochim, 
uh, rebels against Nebuchadnezzar. In 598 BC, Nebuchadnezzar besieges Jerusalem. King Jochanan surrenders, right, because he carried he carried him off into captivity. And Jochanan is taken to Babylon. Babylon and Zedekiah is installed as king. All right, so 597 BC, 10,000 captives, including Ezekiel. Right, Ezekiel went into went into captivity. He was there. All right, are taken to Babylonia. Ezekiel predicts the fall of Jerusalem and speaks about the return of the exiles to Israel. And Daniel was in the exile in Babylon and Babylon at the same time as Ezekiel. And he is persecuted for his faith between 598 to 539 BC. All right. It says 589 BC, Zedekiah rebels at Jerusalem. Rebels and Jerusalem is besieged for over a year and a half. 587 BC, Jerusalem falls and the population is taken in exile in Babylonia. 586 BC, the temple and the royal palace are burnt and the walls are de demolished right because nebuchadnezzar burnt uh the temple he burned the temple down he destroyed the temple all right so when cyrus came in cyrus came in uh we was going back to build the second temple up all right it says the book of lamentations is a collection of five poems uh lamenting uh, of uh, lamenting the destruction of jerusalem in 587 bc Obadiah decrees Edom all right, uh, after it takes advantage of Jerusalem's fall in 587 BC. Right, so that's when you read about, you read, when they read about raise it, raise it, destroy it, meaning destroy, destroy, our, our, destroy everything. That's what Edom was doing, man. Obadiah. Okay, was right around that time, man. Okay. So, you know, I just wanted to bring this part of it out right here. All of this. All of this history, man. These are all the timelines and history and everything of that nature, man. You know? Hey, so with that, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, who well. Peace and blessings and citation to the hopeful elect, the Bayat, the Awadah, the house of David. Shalom, brothers.